Ladies and gentlemen, hello and I want to show to you today a upset from Dürkop. I have a front up, a younger front up and an older Dürkop back pedaling brake back up. And special in this hub is at the right side it looks like a torpedo coaster brake. I show it later to you and at the left side this hub has a disc brake. And this is very interesting for me and I have also a hub shell from Comet. It's an older Fichtel and Sachs hub. And the Dürkop I, I show to you, I think it's a, a 50 years hub. But now let's start the video and look at all the parts I have on the table. This shows the front hub. It has a brand Dürkop and it's marked with DRVM. And this is a sprocket from the back pedaling brake hub. It's only marked with a D, but it means Dürkop. And this shows from the back hub the brake arm and we can see it's right right it with Dürkop. And this shows um, a paper from an older Dürkop hub. They write Dürkop Werke on it. And this paper shows us Dürkop has built also hubs for a chainless bike. We call it in Germany Diana. This is a hub shell from the back hub and it shows no sign and no engraving. But it is typical for, for Dürkop. And yes, these are parts from Torpedo and at the left side from the Dürkop. But now let's look together at the left side into the hub shell. And it shows therein fits this typical disc brake, a multi-disc brake from Dürkop. And these are the three discs They fit into the hub shell. And if we back pedaling, it presses the disc together and so we can break and the hub shell cannot draw and the bike stops. If you back pedaling, the discs and the washer are pressed together. Later I show you how I overhaul this disc brake. Well, this is a Bendix from the United States and we can see at the left side there has also a disc brake, multi-disc brake. This shows the disc brake from the Bendix. They have more discs than the Dürkop hub. This is a two-speed hub, a back, back pedaling, a kickback, back pedaling brake hub. And this shows the Comet from the Frankfurter Stempelwerker. Fichtel and Sachs has bought this patient and built a hub around 1933 and 34 and bring it on the German market. And it is a cone hub. It don't has rolls inside at the driver. It has a cone. It fits into the hub shell and the cone also fits into the brake. But now let's look together at the driver from the torpedo and in opposite at the left side there's the driver from the Dürkop hub. And for me it looks it, 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 it has not a, a big difference. Now I bring all the five rolls onto the driver of the Dürkop. And the part that press on the into the brake cone, it is not on the roll holder of the Dürkop hub. It is um, one part with the driver. And so it goes directly and into the brake cone and press onto the disc brake and torpedo has a little bit different if you back pedaling um, and want to use the brake the pressure goes onto the roll holder and so on this way to the brake cone this is the only difference between the left side driver from Dürkop and the right side driver from torpedo so we can say the younger hub, the Dürkop, it 
It don't comes out of the torpedo, but it has the same the same mechanic like the torpedo at the right side and the disc brake at the left side. If you want to build a hub on this world, you don't have so much versions. And it's not possible, I think, to find a new way to build a vector dialing brake hub. The difference is not so big. If you overhaul a brake shoe from a torpedo, out of brass, I always tell to you use Vaseline and scratch the brake shoe with sandpaper. And if you overhaul a disc brake, it is the same. Use sandpaper to scratch the parts and then use Vaseline and not brake grease for steel brakes. It is better to use Vaseline. I work with Vaseline in Germany from the brand Hanseline. And this is Bosch sandpaper with Courant 80, but you also can use other sandpaper. This shows how I overhaul the driver. I press normal yellow grease for ball bearings into the driver and set loose balls inside. Grease again and then I press on the dust cap. This, this is a driver from the Durkop. I don't rebuild this hub ready to drive and so you don't see that I grease the great ball bearing in the middle and also I don't oil the five rolls. If you want new how to refurb a hub complete I have some, yeah, some videos on my account and please look it how I overhaul a hub ready to drive. This only shows how I refurb it now to show you how I think it, it fits together. It is my first Durkop and maybe there is a mistake in, but I won't show it to you because I think it's an interesting hub. And I don't have found it so much information about Turkop in the internet. Now if you look at the pictures at the video, it looks like a it looks like a torpedo if you don't know the difference, you think it's a torpedo. It is not so easy to find a Turpa pub. I think I have had in my life 1000 or 2000 torpedoes and this is the first Turpa After 40 years I refer pubs. Many, th many thanks to the man who gave it to me. If you draw the sprocket it makes some noises because uh, at the brake hone there are the T's and if you draw it, it um, 
makes a little little noise at top if you draw a torpedo you hear nothing this shows uh, in fast steps how i overhaul the front hub so i have a set um, i think the turkop front hub is a little bit younger than the turkop back pedaling hub but to have a hub set to put it in your home room and to be happy if you won't see it. it. It is good to have a hub set. And if you won't sell it, it is also better to have a hub set. But I think in the ne next 10 or 15 years, I don't uh, sell this hub set, this beautiful Duocop hub set. Maybe if I get older and won't see the ocean the last time. Yes, this, this shows the, the hub set with some information about it. And with this, you see below the torpedo and on the top, the Durkop, the parts from inside of the hub shell. The difference is not so big. Below, you see the parts from the Comet the disc brake from the Comet and this shows the hub shell from a universal 3 speed from 1942 and this hub I show you with my next video and I wish you fun. Bye bye, your Stunt Torpedo.